آؤزبلّہ شیطان رجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم و جا علی لسان صدقن فل آخرین رب شرح علی صدری و یسر علی عمری واہل العدت عم السانی یفقہ قولی مائی ریسپیکٹ برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز ٹوڈے آئی وڈ لائک ٹو ٹاک ٹو یو آن اے سبجیکٹ دیٹ فار ہیومن گائیڈنس ہدایہ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ہیز پرووائڈیڈ اس سو مینی اپرچونیٹیز دیٹ وی کین لرن لیسن اینڈ وی کین فائنڈ دا رائٹ ڈائریکشن دا رائٹ پیتھ دا حق دا بیسٹ آف دا بک از دا بہیویئر آف ہیومن بینگس ان ہاؤ وی بہیو یو نو دیٹ از دی بیسٹ بک دیٹ یو کین لرن دا پیتھ یو ڈیزائر دا پیتھ یو شوڈ نو ٹو ریچ ٹو یور ڈیسٹنی ٹو بی سکسیزفل Remember one thing, brothers and sisters, the pupil of success, they have their own dictionary. The pupil of failure, they have their own dictionary. So the language they speak, the behavior they have, the approach and paradigm they have. And Quran has saved, you know, those behaviors, those actions, those reactions, attitudes, paradigm, perspectives. of different times of different human beings in 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 the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us so that we can learn our lesson without going through all the hardship that's why Quran says bad auz billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim wal asr innal insana la fi khusr illa allazina amanu wa amilu salihat wa tawasu bil haqqi wa tawasu bis sabr This Surah Asr actually is teaching us that human behavior, look at human behavior you see day in and day out. This human behavior should be good enough to teach you that who are the successful people, what they do, what is their approach, what is their paradigm of life, how they see things, how they... act and react what is their behavior so my brothers and my sisters i want to share with you some observations that we all observe every day and somehow we neglect somehow we reject somehow we would like to stay in denial instead of learning lesson we don't want to learn maybe because we feel like that if i will know this or if i will accept this behavior that i may have to compromise on many things so this might become hurdle in the success of this dunya that i want to collect it might becomes hindrance for my family so that where i want to see them in the future so Let me share with you a few, few behaviors. You know, one of the human behavior is that we want to work 24-7 just to collect dunya. Maal of this dunya. Status of this dunya. Maqam of this dunya. My 24-7 worry number one is how I can collect more of this dunya. And... There is another behavior we see in this struggle of collecting this dunya I am ready to sacrifice everything I am ready to sacrifice my health my family my morals my values and even my religion I am ready to sacrifice everything There is another behavior we see that we work so hard to collect this dunya we compromise on everything and after all this sacrifice whatever i collect i am not ready to use it for myself i am not ready to use it for my family you may have seen people that they have gathered so much wealth of this dunya but they are living a miserable life because they don't want to spend that money this is another behavior we see around us and these are the people you will talk to them and they will say i want to save it for tomorrow and we see every day that when they are waiting for tomorrow and that tomorrow never comes and their call comes 
that it's time for you to depart from this dunya and all of a sudden they are gone they worked hard for the money they sacrificed everything they lived miserable life they did not even enjoy their life what they have collected from and they left without using it and hoping for tomorrow and that tomorrow never came and they left another behavior we see people work hard they want to save everything and they want to make sure their future generation their offspring their kids their children they will be better off later on and they are saving all this for their family so they don't have to go through any hardship let me tell you couple of things here my brothers and my sisters number 1 if you have raised your kids in a proper and right way the way of islam you have connected them with deen they have morals and values wallahi they don't need your wealth they will do just fine and on top of that these are the kids even if you have not given them a single penny but in your old age whenever you will need them they will be on your side but on the other hand if you have not raised them in a proper way the islamic way connecting them with the quran no matter what you leave for them they will still not be able to use your money in a proper way and they will definitely will not be there when you will need them my brothers and my sisters and on top of that what one another observation that you may have seen and i see it as a family counselor every day that these parents they work all their life they gathered all this money they did not use it for themselves they were they wanted to leave all this for their family and kids and now this money has become curse for the family majority of the cases in court in most of the muslim countries is of inheritance fight between brother and sister the hadith of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which he says that when we go to our grave everything leaves us except these three things ilm e nafa beneficial knowledge number 2 continuing charity sadqa e jariya and number 3 righteous offspring righteous children aulad e saleh you know these are three seeds the condition is that you and me we have to sow these seeds when we are in this dunya and then allah subhanahu wa taala is going to make them giant tree and i want to go in a little bit of detail of this my brothers and my sisters ilm e nafa beneficial knowledge if i can produce beneficial knowledge then wallahi nurun ala nur but if i am not able to produce myself i can sponsor i can sponsor a school i can sponsor a madrasa i can sponsor a writer who can produce ilm e nafa i can become source and resource for social media some special projects which can benefit humanity muslims to get closer to allah subhanahu wa taala to become beneficial for each other so if i am not able to produce anything myself i can become a sponsor of ilm e nafa beneficial knowledge second thing is continuing charity that you have done some work in this dunya that you have so you are able to sow a seed that you have done something that after you depart from this dunya that khair will continue on behalf of you in this dunya you have you know established a masjid you have established a hospital you have established any little or big any work in this dunya with pure intention to seek the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala and after you have departed from this dunya this work will continue and this will become sadqa e jariya 
for you, my brothers and my sisters. The third thing, which is the focus really of my talk today, is righteous offspring. Ola de Saleh. You know, we in this dunya, our main focus is to make our kids, you know, doctor, engineer, big businessman. And we are more worried about, you know, their future of worldly life. And wallahi, these things are okay. It's good to become a doctor. It's good to become an engineer. It's good to become a big businessman. But if my child is weak in his iman, if he leaves deen behind, if his morals and values are not to the mark, then wallahi, this all is just a trash and garbage of this dunya which will stay here. If you have raised your kids in a moral, proper Islamic way, then these are the kids, they will become sadqai jariya for you when you will be gone from this dunya. And remember brothers, if your child is not praying for you when you are here in this dunya, don't expect them that they will pray for you when you will depart from this dunya. And you know, I'm going to share with you a couple of examples, my brothers and my sisters. Last week, you know, I was in Jordan. Three o'clock in the morning, there was a Syrian brother, Sheikh. He came to pick me up from my apartment to drop me at the airport. His 10-year-old son was sitting on the back seat and holding Quran in his hand. Three o'clock in the morning. As we were driving towards airport, Sheikh was giving me duas and I was giving him duas and we were expecting that we will see each other again and praising you know, each other and praying for each other. Sheikh read this verse at that time. Bad auz billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa jaali lisana sidqin fil akhirin. The meaning of that is, bless me, ya Rabbul Alamin, with honorable, respectable mention among later generation. The pupil after me, they remember me with good name. They know me with good taruf, good introduction. Bless me with this blessing that people will remember me with good name. And I asked Sheikh, you know, which surah and which ayah is that? Sheikh said, it may be in Surah Ambiya. Then he asked his son, 10 year old, son, uh, which surah is this ayah? He said, and Sheikh himself is a half is a Quran. And the 10 year old, he is not a half is a Quran. He is memorizing Quran. He says to father Baba, this ayah is not in Surah al -Ambiya. it's in Surah Ash-Shu'ra. And Sheikh said, look, what ayah number is? And he immediately found that this is ayah number 84. Wallahi, I was so amazed. And I was so happy for this child. Look at this righteous child, 10 year old. And he, he knows his Quran and he is correcting, you know, his father that this ayah is not in Surah Ambiya, is in Surah Shura. And look at the connection that he has with Quran. Three o'clock in the morning, holding, you know, Quran next to his chest. Wallahi, these are the kids that if we are going to leave behind, they will become Sadqai Jariya for us. Let me share with you a true story from Saudi Arabia. You know, there was an orphan child who wanted to go and join army. His mother said to him, no, I will work hard. I want you to, to get the regular education and don't go in the army. Mom worked very hard. This child, you know, graduates, becomes something. Now, when his first paycheck time comes, he promises himself that half of this check I will give to my mom. And Allah knows best and Allah has his own Qadr and his Mashiach, mom got sick. When he got his check, he went to see his mom in hospital to give her half of the money. And by the time he got in the hospital, mom was already departed from this dunya. She passed away. But this righteous son promised to himself that from now onward, 
until i am living in this dunya half of my salary will go as a charity on behalf of my mother and every time he gets his salary half was going towards charity on behalf of his mother he was trying to find different projects and you know investing that money in those projects on behalf of his mom so she can get the ajr of this sadqa e jariya one of the project he was very fan of was finding places where people need cold water masajid shopping places market places and other places wherever labor comes travelers they come and they are looking for cold water one day he went to his masjid and he sees in his masjid a water fountain and there are so many people they are benefiting from that fountain and he got a little curious he was feeling a little jealous that he missed this opportunity that somebody has placed that fountain here so he went to administration to find out who that lucky person is that he was see wasariu ila maghfira wasabiqu ila maghfira so this race to seek the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala so he was in that race wasariu wasabiqu so he went to administration and to find out who this lucky person is administration says you are the one who has put this fountain he says me no i don't remember they said let's go and check the name they went and they saw his name and he was surprised that he never you know put that fountain there and he went to his wife and asking after explaining the whole situation his wife says to him this was your son 15 year old he decided to save money from his every week pocket money that when my father is doing all this charity on behalf of his mother and father and everybody else why not me do something for my father wallahi this story moved me so much that these are the kids that we want to raise you know in this dunya so when we depart from this dunya they become sadqae jariya for us my brothers and my sisters focus in this dunya look at this behavior of human being and we see every day the people who just focus on themselves and this dunya they leave empty handed they go without anything in their hand and they leave all this for their inheritors so my brothers and my sister the lesson is the wake up call for you and me is let's work on these three seeds when we are in this dunya and work hard to make sure when we go from this dunya our account is not closed of good deeds rather it's continued even when i am in the grave where i will be in the need of all the hasanat and good deeds may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you and me assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh allah akbar